when you turn on your TV, go shopping at a grocery store, or go to the doctor? Do you know why and how the technology that makes our everyday lives easier and more convenient works, was discovered, or was proven to work? To the majority of people in this country, science is something too hard to understand, so they either blindly accept it and enjoy its benefits, or they blindly reject it and still enjoy its benefits, even as they rail against it. A survey in 2008 found that only 7% of Americans could properly explain the scientific peer review process and why and how the evidence is used to back up a claim. They could not explain placebo use, control groups, or peer review. This means that to a staggering majority of Americans, science is really little different than religion in terms of perceived results. Is it any wonder that people can so easily reject evolution, vaccinations, and climate change? The methodology of these sciences is so foreign to them that they assume that science uses the same methods that they use to decide what to believe, and these are based on emotions, what someone else has told them, perception of personal experiences, and many times fact mining and confirmation bias. In a nation that is so dependent on and so blessed by science, the understanding of the scientific process is the equivalent of literacy, and our country is considerably illiterate in this area. I was a naval nuclear electrician, and I graduated with a degree in microbiology, and it wasn't until my last semester that I was confronted with a scientific process and experiments. I had memorized and learned and absorbed science on a mass scale but I was oblivious as to the modern processes used to determine if a claim has sufficient evidence. I would create hypotheses based on what I knew and not what I did not know, talk about it without citing it, then treat it like my faith with no concept of peer review. It wasn't until after I graduated and began watching professors on YouTube that I was made aware of this crippling flaw. I guess my science professors just assumed we knew, or that someone else would teach us along the pipeline. I had no explanation of the scientific process, or critical thinking in high school. My girlfriend is an archaeologist, and is still blown away at how many graduated hard scientists are unaware of the peer review process. There is just too much other information discovered that has to be learned. It is not until they enter grad school, or if they have the time to get an internship in their undergraduate studies, that they are finally taught a crash course in how we know all the things we were taught. 7% American literacy of the scientific process means that no real American progress will occur until this problem is addressed and tackled. Asia is rising in science and innovation. America will be left behind in the dark ages if we aren't able to educate people in this area.